guys welcome to my channel how's it going i hope you're all doing really really well today's video i have not filmed in a long time i'm not even sure if i've done one this year or we'll have to have a look back through and see um but i thought i'd do some favorites Yay! i used to love watching favorites videos i used to really like filming them um but yeah for some reason i just stopped and i don't really know why so here it is my favourites and one jog on for the month of May 2019. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the weird ones first. Well, not weird, they're just not like makeup or beauty or parenting or anything like that. It's just stuff that I like to eat <laughs> and drink. Um, at the minute, this is like my favourite drink ever. Um, it's apple and elderflower flavoured fizzy water and it's from Tesco's. It's like 30p a bottle or something, 40p a bottle. And oh my god, it's so, so yummy. Like, I just love it. I, since all, all, all my pregnancies, I have only really been able to drink fizzy water. Um, whether that's plain or flavoured. But this is the go-to at the minute. It's just so yummy yummy highly recommend um and then the next one is crisps these crisps in particular i don't have a packet of them because me and ben ate them all um a couple of days ago and haven't done any shops since but they are i don't even know what brand they are i'll have to put them on the screen but they're jalapeno and cheese crisps and they're spicy as fuck I love them, they're so good. I liked them before I was pregnant, um, but I can never eat that many of them. Look, the little shit white dogs have started barking again, obviously, because the car drove past. Oh. They've stopped. Okay, yeah, jalapeno and cheese, they're spicy, and I loved them before I was pregnant, but I couldn't ever eat too many of them because they are so spicy, whereas now, I literally just want to inhale them because they are so good and I don't know whether the baby's made my taste buds less sensitive or if he just really likes spicy stuff but I just want all the spice in my face all the time so yeah they're amazing if you see them when they're on offer just buy those because they're expensive I don't ever pay for them when they're full price I buy them when they're on offer and just stock up okay next up is my eyelashes if you don't know i had my eyelashes lifted and tinted this month um somewhere locally to me in norwich i will link her instagram down below um all right calm down just fall off the table but if you can see that they're lifted and tinted there's no mascara there's nothing on my eyelashes at the moment um and i just love them I'm really really happy with them i did want full extensions done but you can't use oil cleansers and i'm kind of like i like an oil cleanser now and then and i don't use them all the time because of my next product but when i do like them i don't want to ruin my eyelashes so uh next up is this little wonder I'm showing you this side because this side is dirty <laughs> my eyebrows um this is the i think it's magnetone london and i think we got this in a box in a beauty box and it's basically just a cloth and you wet it and then it will remove a full face of makeup like just completely take it off it's magic no cleansers no chemicals no nothing it's just magic and they're not very expensive i'll link everything i'm talking about down below might not be today i will link it i promise um and I just love these. I use them most days now, um, just because I generally just wipe off my eyebrows at the end of the day. I haven't really been wearing any makeup since I had my eyelashes done. Um, but it just cleans all the crap off your face. So, yeah, really, really like that. What's next? What are we going to go for next? What are we going to go for next? We're going to go for um, the Ordinary Hyaluronic Acid Plus B5 Serum. This, we got this, I think, in Look Fantastic. And... I'm already down to here and it makes me sad. I've used it just twice a day, morning and night, and I clean my face and then I spray, look, this is <laughs> my Mario Badescu hydrating 
facial spray with aloe and lavender and chamomile. I spray this all over my face, wait for like 30 seconds and then put on the serum, which I just absolutely love. And it's done so much for like the texture around here. Like, cannot recommend it enough. And it's like six quid, it's amazing. Sorry, one child poured juice on the other child. So I had to get second child dressed. Uh, next up, yeah, more skincare because I just really, really like skincare at the minute. Um, the Elemis Superfood Day Cream. If it wants to focus, yeah. Um, I think this is. I think I might have mentioned this before in a favourites video. Um, there's a night one as well. I don't tend to use the night one as much. I don't really know why. I'm just. I just don't tend to use it. But I absolutely love this. Love the smell of it. And will 100 percent be purchasing a full size one of these when this eventually runs out but believe me i will be cutting open this packet and scraping out every last little bit i can because it's expensive but it's worth it um next up we've got uh the mimi tika and this is the spf 50 mum got this in her birch box this month and i've used it every single day since it's, it's spf 50 facial is it a facial one? Yeah, face sun cream. And it's one of the only ones I've found. It's not greasy. You can put makeup over it if you want to, because quite a lot of times when you put um, SPF on, your foundation doesn't sit really nice on top of it. And I don't wear proper foundation, I wear powder foundation, but this sits really nice on top of it. Um, and I really like it, just to kind of minimize all the crap going into your face. So yeah, this little one. Um, you can see I've hardly made a dent in it, but I've used it every single day since I've had it. A little goes a long way, so I'll definitely be buying another one of those. Um, and then I'm also mixing it sometimes with my Tarte Brighter Days moisturiser. That's what I've got on today, and it just kind of gives you a like a sheen or a glow without any makeup on. Um, this do be careful though, because if you go hard with this, I'll just put a little bit on my hand, see if I can show you. Can you see the shine and the glitter? It does give a very, very glowy kind of finish. And in some lights, it does look like just straight glitter on your face, which I don't mind at all, but I know some people wouldn't like that. Um, next up is Belly Cream. This is the Mamma Mio Tummy Rub Butter. This was so kindly sent to me by glossy box they sent me like a mummy skincare box which is amazing from mamma mio and i've been using this every day on my belly and i don't know what it smells of but it smells amazing and it says um that it is a, an award-winning tummy rub butter it smells gorgeous and makes you feel gorgeous and it's meant to elasticize moisturize and soothe because like uh, you might not know this, but when you're pregnant and your belly stretches, your skin can become really, really itchy. And then when you can itch that, that can then cause stretch marks. And, um, yeah, I just really like it. And it's just an all-round lovely cream. They sent other stuff as well, which is also really nice. But this is my favourite of the Mamma Mia set that I got. Um, what else have we got? Let me look. I've got my toothbrush. This isn't the one I'm using, this is a new one. And um, this is my bamboo brush. These, again, these were sent to me. They sent me four, which is a year's supply. And they are um, bamboo toothbrushes. My one's in the bathroom, I'm just being lazy and I can't go and get it. But they come like this. I will just open it so you can see. And like the packaging indicates the color of the, bamboo, the brush. But I, Another side effect of pregnancy, which you might not know if you're not pregnant or haven't been pregnant, is that your gums are more prone to bleed. And prior to starting to use these, every time I brushed my teeth, I was like a vampire. Like Ben was just like, ugh, it's horrible. Um, but for some reason, they're not bleeding when I've used these. And I, I messaged bam my bamboo brush and said to him, I don't know if you know, but for some reason, my gums aren't bleeding and I think it's a really good thing. They are bamboo toothbrush, biodegradable, vegan, eco-friendly, recyclable packaging and BPA free. I'll link everything down below. Um, but yeah, 
I've let Ben have one as well and he really likes it. So very happy with these. Um, what have we got now? I think now we're just going to go to the jog on. Now this is going to be controversial. Don't hate me. We can if you want to, I don't really mind. If you don't like me, that's fine. We can't all like the same people and that's cool. But, oh no, I missed one, I missed one. Hit myself in the tip. This, the Dr. Jar Shake Shot um, face mask that I got in Glossy Box. I had the firming one and I absolutely loved it. It was such a fun face mask to do and my skin felt amazing afterwards. So yeah, I will, I'm gonna get one of these. I think I do it on my mum because I think it's gonna be funny. But yeah, okay, let's, let's talk business. Right, my jog on for the month of May, brace yourselves, is Game of Thrones on the whole. I said it, I said it. You might not know this, you might know this, but me and Ben didn't watch Game of Thrones until this year. We didn't, we just, it never appealed to us. I kind of was just like, oh, is it as good as everyone says? Because everybody is like, oh, it's amazing. And I was like, you know what, for fuck's sake, we haven't got anything to watch. We just finished all of our series that we were watching. And I was like, let's just watch it because it's on Sky, on demand, so we may as well. And don't get the hype, really don't get the hype. It was okay, don't get me wrong, it was okay. Um, some characters I really, really loved. Absolutely love Tormund, absolutely love Tormund. He is just like, just, yeah, love Tormund. However, the last season in particular was, when it finished, when we finished watching it, I literally looked at Ben and was like, well, that was an actual shower of shit. I'm not gonna say spoilers because some people won't have seen it and that's fine, but for me personally, no, it can just jog on. I was really happy when it ended. At no point whilst watching all eight seasons, if someone had said to me, right, you can't watch anymore, would I have been upset? I'd have gone, okay, and just moved on my life because I just didn't get the hype. I just really didn't, and that was my jog on. So, yeah, I'm sorry if you love it, and that's amazing if you do, because I love lots of things that I'm sure that you don't like. Um, but yeah, for me, it was just a big fat <laughs> And yeah, I'm just, I'm very happy it's over and that I will never have to watch it again. And I know I didn't have to watch it. We chose to watch it, but yeah, I'm happy that it's done now and can just die a death and be forgotten about somewhere in my brain, never to be thought about again. Uh, but yeah. That was my favourite and a jog on for May 2019. And I did it on time. It's the 30th of May today. I never ever do favourites on time. I normally like halfway through the month, I'm like, oh yeah, I need to do a favourites. But today I did it on time. So yeah, let me know what you've been loving and what you've not been loving this month, whether it's food, beauty, makeup, TV programmes, clothes, holidays, anything. Let me know because I'm nosy. But yeah, if you like these videos, please do give this one a great big fat thumbs up. You should definitely subscribe to my channel for more fun stuff to come. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all very, very soon. Bye guys.